Okay, the first thing we want to do is download the My Verizon app onto your phone. And then we're going to open up the My Verizon app. Okay, so open up, touch and open up the My Verizon app. Okay, after you open up your Verizon app, you come to the Verizon homepage. You may have to scroll down like this to get to account, but you should see account at the bottom. You want to click on account. You want to tap on account and that'll take you to the next page. You open up your My Verizon app, just kind of scroll down on your home page till you see manage all devices and tap on manage all devices. Okay. Okay, after you tap on manage all devices, you're gonna see mobile. That's if you have Verizon cell phone service and you're gonna see 5G home. You wanna tap on 5G home and then it's going to go to your um, your 5G's home services. I have quite a few of them. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on this one here that, and hit manage. So once you hit manage, you're going to come to your home internet. And it's going to have details. You scroll up a little bit. It's going to say here under detail, edit and name. I mean, edit and share. You want to tap on edit and share. And from here, you have where you can edit Wi Fi details primary. So we can edit our Wi Fi details here for and change our name. So we tap on edit Wi Fi details and we can click on here. And whatever's in the box, we can just back it up and, you know put whatever we want here, like, I'm gonna just type in test, uh, T-E-S-T, -E and then you can put in whatever uh, passwords you want. Like, you can make it your phone number or whatever. Um, let me just do like, five, 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 five. And then, after you do all that, uh, you can, you would hit save. And then you're changing your Wi-Fi, you know, you're changing the Wi-Fi, you can hit save. And then it'll update your, um, it'll update your router and everything, but I'm not gonna save it cause I don't wanna change mine. So I'm gonna hit cancel. But you can hit save and this is save it and then all you have to do is you know look for your new network name and the password that you just put in and you'll be good you can um, connect to that real easy so that's how you change your wi-fi name and password to your service okay okay so in conclusion i would say that this verizon home 5g internet it's a good deal. Now, and if you're a gamer, you may not get the speed that you need if you're playing games and stuff. I would say on the average, you're gonna get at least 100 um, megabytes download per second. It says it goes up to 300 and sometimes it does. Like the one that I have at my mom's house, it always goes up to 300. This one is averaging around uh, anywhere from 80 to 100 to 200, you know, it varies. But as long as you're getting over 25 megabit download speed, you will have no problem doing your streaming. So you want to at least see 25 megabits download speed. And um, just do your speed test, move it around. Don't give up on it too soon. Try it out for 30 days. If it works for you, great. If it don't, return it within the 30 days and uh, get your money back and go back to paying the higher cable internet bill. You know, sorry it didn't work for you. Maybe you could try T-Mobile. You might have success with that particular brand. I don't know. Uh, good luck. And if you like this video, like and subscribe and make a comment if you have Verizon and if it works for you. It works for me. That's all I can say. So good luck. Bye.